Hi, I will show you how to use our shared contacts application. Go to our application at App Engine using the link provided and log in with your Google account. We are not storing any password information as we are using the Google Authentication subsystem. When logging in for the first time, you have to give us access to your Google contacts so that you can share your contacts with your colleagues and friends. Now you are logged into our application and you will see that you are not managing nor subscribing any address books yet. To get started, create your first address book. Let's create an address book with the name Sales. Your address book has been created and you are the only subscriber right now. To share contacts with other users, you can invite them to join your address book. Whenever you invite someone to your address book, an invitation email will be created. You can revoke invitations or remove the whole address book at any time. Now let's switch to the invited user to see how the invitation email looks like. So let's log in with the Google account of the invited person. As you can see, the invitation email has already been delivered. We've been invited to the sales address book. When following the link provided in this email, we will get redirected to the Google Authentication page. We are logging in for the first time with this user to the Shared Contacts application, so again we have to grant access to the Google Contacts. This step is required only once if you log in for the first time. As you can see, we are now joining the sales address book. Now let's switch back to the manager of this address book. When reloading the page, you will see that the invited person is now subscribing the address book. Ok, now let's go to the Google Contact Manager to share some contacts. As you can see, there's a new group that has been created called Sales. This group has been created automatically as we have been creating the address book. So now let's add some people to this Sales group. We just added four contacts to the Sales group. To share additional contacts, you can add them to the Sales group at any time. Now let's go to the contact manager of the other member of this address book. You will see that a sales group has been created for every member of the address book and every member will see all the shared contacts in this group. Of course, this user could also add some contacts to the sales group. Let's switch back to the manager of this address book and log in to the shared contacts application. You can see the number of shared contacts in each address book and the duration of the last synchronization. Thank you.